Thank you, Mr. Speaker. If one does not, is not ready to speak for freedom everywhere, we can expect freedom to be granted anywhere. China continues to subvert Hong Kong's autonomy, rule of law, fundamental freedoms, as well as international agreements. The latest unilateral decision by the National People's Congress of China to enact a national security law for Hong Kong seriously threatens the city's autonomy, rule of law, and fundamental freedoms. It is expected that the law will introduce a range of vague and draconian charges. Two weeks ago, over 900 political leaders worldwide, including many of you, made a joint statement condemning this move. The joint motion for resolution of this parliament provides a clear and principled stance on this situation in Hong Kong and upholds the values on which this union has been built on and on which should and must direct our foreign policy as stipulated in Article 21 of the treaties. I therefore call on all members to support this resolution and to stand with the people of Hong Kong.